If you're here with Fibbly TV, listen, a guy reached out on our live. He didn't reach out on the live. He was on the live, and he is one of our pet achievers. Uh, she's in the pet club where we do the feeding stuff. He said, hypothetically, Trev, I'm saying my name for the third time ever on YouTube, and I don't know what happened, but people just know my name. Hey, man, how's it going? Or they said, that's the dog man. What would happen if you bred Tron to Zara? I'd create a, a real bitch with a lot of problems. Now let me be very honest with you guys, okay? Can we can we have a moment of honesty? <sighs> Baloo's not a good dog. I know you guys like him, but he's not. He looks cool, but he's not a good dog. Is he a bad dog? No, but he's not a good dog. Baloo's an insecure dog. We have proof now that those insecurities have gotten the best of a few people, including me. <laughs> I was the first victim, right? Challenges when you add things that I didn't even know he had because I hadn't had Baloo probably two years, right? I did what some people would do and I'm going to pull this out of him and get this. Zara's going to solve that. But then you create this other problem. So you have Zara and we've got Confident. Now Con Zara is driven, focused, and she has discernment. I don't know if I spelled that right, so please correct me if I'm wrong. I'd appreciate it. But do you know what discernment is? Discernment means you've got a dog who will react, and then you've got a dog who lets you know, like, hey, back up. So when you have a driven dog who's super feisty and motivated and aggressive, you turn around and you'll create problems long term because if something feels uncomfortable and the dog's rooted in fear as well, it'll just bite. It'll bite a child. It'll bite another dog. It'll bite a human. It's liable to bite your ass. So when someone says, hey, what happens if you take Zara to Tron? Tron, as we've seen, is unmotivated. Now, y'all don't know this, but you've seen the other videos where we've shown you. Tron didn't want to do anything. He was like, I'm going this way, I'm going that way, F you. And he's still like that at times. Then we have a dog who's insecure. Guess what? Tron is also insecure. And that insecurity because he lacks confidence. And if he lacks confidence and he's rooted in fear, I mean, literally, uh, my guy Stan just sent me a video where Tron wouldn't get in two tires a year ago. Now, he didn't jump in the tires, jumped out, and that's a process. But when you say, hey, what are you breeding for? The question is, is can we make a good dog? Well, what's a good dog? It's a dog that I can put into a home. <laughs> That's gonna make the house better. And let me show you something, okay? Just to put it put it put it in perspective. Kind of what we're talking about, that way you can see. It's it's let me let me give you a, a perspective here. We just got there's a dog out in um, New York, and the woman had never heard of American Bully, and she said someone was trying to charge her ten thousand for the dog. So I said, I've got one. He could never be bred, but he's like the dog I would keep. And God, she just sent me a picture of him. And she was concerned. She did a, a video with me, FaceTime. Oh, he just bit my I was like, he didn't bite. <laughs> if he was gonna bite you, he'd have chewed you up. And he was like maybe four months old at the time. Fast forward, once we told her what to do and how to manage the dog, this is a dog named Smokey. That's Hera's brother. And that dog was the only one that looked like that in the litter, but that boy, <laughs> can you see? He's looking good. And he's coming along like I presumed. But I told her, if you give me the dog back, you gotta give me before six months, because after six months, it's too, I mean, he's too far gone. Some of you don't know that either. It's a study that the AKC has put together within the first eight to 16 weeks of the dog's life. That's when the character actually is really developed. And then you have to continue to manage those things. That dog's come right along. Now, let me go to Stan's video, because he says, Trev, man, ain't this crazy how much has changed? So this is Monday, January 1st, Stand the Dog Man. So we're trying to just get Tron in this video. Work, 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 work. Look at him, look at him. Look at him. Yes. Oh boy. And he's scared to death. Good boy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Good boy. And we have yes, to build his confidence while he's on this thing. So you sit there, Penny. And what do you do as soon as he pet him? Hey, look at that. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Look. 
now we have videos as well. I have to go find them. This guy way too many videos. Where you see Tron, he like this. Boom. You go, oh wow. All of a sudden he gets motivated. Let me be very clear and tell you. Zara came in confident. She came in motivated. She came in trying. She came in hating not being able to get to me. Hating. There's a subtlety to Zara. A softness. Where, where she puts her head in your chest. She'll put her paw on you. She's communicative. You're like, I would trust that dog around anybody except a kid. <laughs> she doesn't like kids. But that's because I don't either. <laughs> and, and, and guess what? All of her, all of her, her, her children, Cha-Cha, Hera, ego balls in the air is the same way. They're very soft in their approach to things. So when you say, hey, what would happen if Tron went to Zara? We would create more problems. You want to know the truth? I'd have more problems than I could afford to to take care of, and it would it would it would get us further away from bettering the dogs. And I told you guys this because everyone breeds the bully for its aesthetics, but not who the dog is. When people got a pit bull back in the day, you got the dog because you wanted a dog. You want that dog to terrorize somebody. You want your house to be safe. You're going to leave it in a fencing area. You, I mean, it was dog fight. It's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. But you didn't get the dog because it was sweet and nice. It was sweet to you and protective of your family. But you got the dog because you was like, I want the closest thing to something to, to own something illegal as possible. <laughs> and a pit bull is it. A real one, to be clear. Independent thinkers, highly motivated, driven, and they'd rather die than quit. That's just, I mean... That's what a pit bull is. So we've got these American bullies that have been bred by any means necessary to get to a financial result. And I'm telling you this, uh, I think about it this way. If I went and got a golden retriever, it provides you a level of peace. And people say, oh, that's a cool dog, man. But when Ego does get out the car, <laughs> uh, when they see Cha Cha, <laughs> when, when you see Zara, I've seen people stop what they're doing and be like, Oh my man, that talk is gorgeous. Would they same, say the same thing about a Labrador? Probably not. So I understand your plight. And for me, that doesn't feed my ego. So I'm like this. I got to get away from this. But before we leave, <laughs> we're going to make sure we continue to provide as much education as possible. So if you're thinking about breeding, make sure that you consider the character of the dog because that is scalable. And there is a book on locomotion where the guy has to breed almost 50 generations just to do what? Get silver foxes to become domesticated in a way where they will approach humans. You don't understand it, man. It takes a lot to get rid of a problem and it takes two seconds to create one. <laughs> if ever you've done something, remember the Tupac movie? Don't let 15 seconds, uh, you know, define the next 30 years of your life. If you hurt somebody, you can go to jail for 7 to 15 years. 15 to 30. If you hurt them real bad, you're going for life. Think about that. A bullet leaves and point however half a second. You end up killing somebody, you go do a bunch of time. Some of y'all creating dogs and no, people don't have the time to deal with the bullshit. So they end up at the shelter. Or you end up messaging me because you didn't know what you were getting and they didn't know what they was doing. So I appreciate the context of this question because it helps me draw a perspective. This right here is at the top of, this is my goal, a confident dog. But I want to be confident like this woman who has a 12-year-old child and a 7-year-old son, I believe, named Mateo, who's young. She said, I want this dog, but I want to feel like I'm safe in my own home. Now the dog's laying in her lap. Now she, she, she said, I hired two trainers. She went and did what needed to be done, but also said, send him back to me because I could put him somewhere. Figure the rest out. <laughs> and, and we was going to give her a bulldog. She said she's familiar with those. Chris. I literally called Chris. He says, yeah, just tell her. He said, what happened old girl? She's not going to come? I got the, the, the community to move dogs around and get people to stuff that they prefer or like and understand. The American bully, as long as things keep getting thrown in, it's like, a let me add some ketchup, some mustard, some soy sauce, some, some wasabi, some honey, some pepper, some salt, some onions, some paprika. You go, man, what you doing, dude? What is this gonna taste like? Ah, uh, we gonna see what kind of shit you gonna see, nigga. We gonna see, nigga. Gonna, we gonna, we gonna, gonna, something gonna come together. We gonna see what happens, bro. I put this in this, man. Hey, I got some. Uh, somebody messaged me. It was like I got some, some bully Frenchies. I said. And what would you like me to do? <laughs> Another person, man. I got these band dogs. I said I don't need a dog, band dog right now. I said I'm good. 
okay, thank you. <laughs> so you get a dog, don't know how to market it, sell it, and then you start mixing things, hoping that it works. <laughs> and then it don't work because now you got eight dogs at your house that don't nobody want to buy. And you're trying to sell them astronomically for a price that it's not justifiable. And then if they come to you, you don't know anything. So you're creating more problems. And this is the reason why I left 15 years ago. You go, I'm talking to all the guys starting, literally when it was, and you go, what are you guys doing? And it just kept getting worse and worse. Then it's way gone now, bro. I mean, it's so far gone now. You just like, I'm like, I knew this was coming, but instead of complaining and fussing and being disgusted by the stuff taking place, I was like, yo, let's just, let me do what I do best, and that's teach. So, this never happens. Why? Because this problem right here, this person right here, he's a problem. And Tron, it's, it, it, you know, he's a good dog. He's a good dog for us. But he's not a dog that I would put another, and I don't even think Tron would do anything to anybody. That's the truth. I don't think, I, I don't, he wouldn't bite anybody. I don't know that his kids would. But if I mix him with this, and this one dog is uncertain in that group, they're uncertain because they have a little fear. And you add this, so now I'm fearfully biting your ass because I want you to get away from me. I just told you that all Zars dogs are communicative. Ego gets up at 2.30 in the morning and he's like this. He start walking around and he's looking at me. He'll look, 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 look. Hey buddy, better let me out of here. <laughs> I'll, I'll shit everywhere. <laughs> and if I don't, he will shit. Zar, she'll literally, hmm. she's whining. You go, God, Lee, just go to bed. No, take me outside. And she'll go and do her business. I love an intelligent dog, one who makes your life easy, who's instinctual. Now, stay tuned. Keep taking care of your dogs. It's T for here, Fibbly TV. I don't want you to overthink it. This might sound complicated, but if you are going to be a good breeder, then really consider the character of your dog. How long does it take for you to really know the character of the dog? In my experience, about two years. Two years until you fine tune your approach. And then you say, hey, what are the dogs we have? I could put 10 more Ecos in homes. Everybody be great. I could put 10 more Zars in homes with making sure you understand what you're getting. Because a home will be safe. I don't know if other people will. <laughs> I could put 10 more Cha-Cha's granddaughter will be the one where I'm like, yo, that's, that's what we're looking for. That's the, that's the thing. That's the granddaughter, right? She's the one. Who else? Hera? She's good. <sighs> but we probably use her sister, Kara. But I might breed Hera in the future just to prove a point. <laughs> More education. Guys, stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. Thank you for the question. Shout out to everybody trying to do the right thing.